Hello everyone. In today's video, we'll check out the best bug out bag in the market. The bug out bag I listed here are recommended by the reviewers and have lots of positive feedback from the actual users. So if you're looking for the best one for you that is worth your money, then keep watching this video. I guarantee you'll find the best and suitable one for you from this list. One more thing, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and check the links in the description. Okay, let's start with the video. At the first position of our list, we have Voodoo Tactical 15 9684 Mini Mojo Loadout Bag. The Voodoo Tactical is one of my favorite bug out duffels and gets my top recommendation. It is the smaller version of the popular Mojo Loadout Bag, but it has the same great features at just 3 4 the size of the larger version. I find that I can get just about everything I need for a proper bug out bag, such as a survival kit, weapons, ammo, water, and more. Featuring 11 assorted size exterior pouches. Lots of webbing to attach more pouches. Double zip access to the main compartment. Double compression straps on each end. Metal D-ring attachment points about. Adjustable, removable shoulder strap with movable pad. And when the load gets too heavy, including a padded, adjustable shoulder strap harness that conceals in the bottom of the bag when not needed. Moving on to the next at number two with True Salute Military Tactical Backpack. The three-day tactical assault pack is a great bugout bag for many reasons. I really love the glove-friendly pull tabs which make it easy to get to the waterproof storage compartments quickly. This pack is perfect for prepping for survival, hiking, camping, or even as an egg pack. Although smaller, it can carry the necessary items like a full-on survival kit. The mall slash slick stick web platform backpack lets you attach your survival gear to carabiners, ropes, or any other type of secure fastening. It has comfortable contour padded shoulder straps, a breathable and cool mesh padded back, and side and front load compression straps. This backpack is designed to be durable enough to withstand a beating in the woods while protecting your body against harm. The number three position is held by Maxpedition Falcon Roman 3 backpack. I personally like Maxpedition bags. It's a solid company. However, they are pretty expensive when compared to the True Salute above. Sure, I think the Maxpedition is a better bag for a smaller carry bag, but not as good of Enroy when you compare the prices. So, what makes it a good bag? The Falcon is made of better material and is more comfortable. It has foam padded double shoulder straps, an adjustable waist belt, and a Cernum suspension system for lining your load and getting out of there quickly. Next at number 4, we have Condor 3-Day Assault Pack. You may hear some people comparing this Condor 3-Day Assault Pack to the Falcon Roman 3 above, and that may have to do with the fact that this Condor takes a comfort level just as seriously. Complete with sternum straps, adjustable waistband, and body contour shoulder straps, I think that the Condor doesn't sacrifice when it comes to its ease of carry. However, what I really love about the Condor's construction is the rear foam pad that not only provides maximum relief to the wear but optimizes airflow. Coming in at fifth aisle, this holds more than the Maxpedition. However, I don't think its pocketing systems are as smart as Maxpedition's. It does have some pretty neat features as well such as document holding pockets, radio pockets, and even pen holsters. And those of you laughing over pen holsters, it's always pertinent to have something to write with in the event of emergency. Perhaps one of the nicest features of the Condor is its capacity for hydration. The number five position is held by Red Rock Outboard Gear. The Red Rock Large Assault Pack is by far one of the most budget-friendly options on our list of best bug out bags, but that doesn't mean it doesn't carry its weight. Pun intended. It's a reliable pack made out of durable material that can carry just about everything you need. And while not as showy or tactical comparatively, the Red Rock has some pretty neat features that help it make our list. First, I always love a good hydration or CCW pocket, an essential in any emergency. The hydration pocket along the back of the bag can carry up to a 2.5 liter bladder depending on bladder style or be easily converted into a CCW compartment. There's also the mall attachment webbing along the outside. The number six position is dominated by Martin Top Mall Hiking Backpack. The Martin Top rounds out our list of best bug out bags and it's a beast of a bag with its huge carrying capacity. Aside from its ability to carry all of your necessary gear and provisions, the Martin Top comes equipped with numerous small loops that you can use to attach just about anything. Thankfully, the whole rig is supported via an internal frame so you don't have to worry about your bag caving in on you. Another great attachment is the rain cover. A rain cover is provided for the Martin Top to keep all of your gear dry. Moving on to the next at number 7 with 5.11 Tactical 4 Banger. 5.11 is a go-to manufacturing at community for high-quality tactical gear. Their 4-banger bag has a peculiar name, 
but it's designed as a get home go bag that you can toss in your car with the gear you need to get away from danger. There's four magazine pockets designed to hold standard rifle magazines, but you can also use those as organization spaces for small and thin gear and electronics like radios. With 500 slash 1050 nylon and egg zippers, this is a well-constructed tactical bag that carries a low profile, helping you look more inconspicuous as you egress. The number eight position is held by SOG Responder Bag. SOG has been making knives, tools, and tactical gear for military and law enforcement in the United States for decades now. And their responder bag is designed as a rapid response go pack that's made for comfortable carry even when fully loaded and on the run. Aside from the large padded shoulder strap, the side of the bag that contacts your body is heavily mesh padded as well. If you need more carry options, the strap is quick detachable and you can attach the bag itself to a belt to keep your hands and shoulders free in an emergency situation. With 11.5 liters of space and dedicated pockets for organization space, you can fit the essentials. And you can further customize the interior with the integral mall compatible webbing inside the bag itself. Next at number 9 we have Hazard 4 Plan C. Hazard 4 makes innovative tactical bags and gear. And their Plan C is a great example of their design prowess. The Plan C is essential a backpack version of their Plan B modular sling pack. Now with two straps for stable and secure carry while on the move. The Plan C features a taller and thinner footprint compared to most tactical bags, and that makes it uniquely suited for use as a bug-out bag. Its design allows for a load to be centered on your back without snagging on things as you pass them by in a hurry. It's hydration bladder compatible for long haul, and it's covered in modular webbing so you can configure it as your mission requires. New for the Plan C compared to the previous model is a 3D thermoform semi-hard case at the top of the bag that's well suited to protect your sensitive electronics gear. Finally, the number 10 position is dominated by Mystery Ranch 2-Day Assault Pack. For decades now, Mystery Ranch has been well known in the military and first responder world for putting together hard-use tactical packs that'll stand up to some of the worst hard-use situations you can think of and keep on going. And that's a dig. The hallmark of a Mystery Ranch design is their special Y-shaped x zipper opening and its front and center on their 2-Day Assault Pack. This unique opening allows you complete versatility in opening and unloading the pack as you can choose between top loading horizontal access, or a full unzip that grants easy access to all of your essential gear inside, and with webbing on the sides and bottom of the pack, you can outfit the bag to your needs. That's all for today. We upload outdoor product review videos in every single day, so don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button for the upcoming video notification.